Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Purpose to Serve God. Beloved family, our text says, Now he arose from the synagogue and entered Simon's house. But Simon's wife's mother was sick with a high fever, and they made request of him concerning her. So he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she arose and served them. Luke 4 38 to 39. What must we go through to serve God? Simon's wife's mother had a fever that stood in the way of her service. A fever in our bodies is a temporary increase in our body temperature, often due to an illness. Having a fever is a sign that something out of the ordinary is going on in the body. The body senses something is not functioning properly or malfunctioning. So it turns up the heat in our bodies. So what in your life is malfunctioning causing the heat to be turned up? What has you sweating? Listen, I know all about fever and heat because when you are called to your purpose, the enemy fights to stop purpose from being uncovered because he knows that once purpose is revealed, provisions for the prosperity is inevitable. When purpose meets vision, provision naturally follows. So we feel the heat in our lives when something out of the ordinary is going on. It could be in your family, relationship, or job. The one you loathe getting up for each morning. It could be in a relationship, the one you loathe going home to. It could be a circumstance in your life that's causing you to doubt God. That's trying your faith, keeping you from praying and reading the word of God. What is that test that will cause you not to serve God? That will take you out of service? Is it the lack of money to meet the bills or abundance thereof? Is it sickness, depression, stress, or anxiety? Peter's mother-in-law was out of service because of a fever. It put her out of commission. But note, as soon as King Jesus rebuked the fever, she immediately got up and served Christ. And he didn't have to ask her to do so. What a lesson for me. To immediately serve Christ whenever he rebukes or removes the heat and fever from my life. Instead of going back to whatever or whomever I was serving or worshipping. See, we were created to worship. And if we don't worship God, we will by default worship someone else. Why, you ask? Because it's in our DNA, our very nature. Why do you think God said in the very first commandment given to Moses, I am the Lord your God. You shall not have any strange gods before me. God knows that in each of us is a desire to worship. But that desire, when focused correctly, should point to the one who put it there in the first place. But the world causes our vision to be foggy. We lose faith and start to replace kingdom relationship with worldly religion, worshiping man and false idols. And isn't that what religion is? Man's attempt to fulfill his need to worship? Serving God is in our purpose. 1 Samuel 12, 24 says, Only fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. For consider what great things he has done for you. Either our own desires or the influence of the enemy can put us out of service to our loving Father. Pray to the Lord Jesus Christ to rebuke your fever, rebuke the heat, and cause the fire of the trial not to burn when you go through. Just like how a fever occurs with almost any type of infection or illness, the fever is part of the body's own disease-fighting arsenal. The body is attempting to fight off its own battles. But if the temperature gets too high, there can be unwanted consequences. 
Oh, what am I saying here? The lesson here is we try to fight our own battles within our own capabilities and not God's. When Peter's mother-in-law fever got too high, she couldn't fight against it in her own strength. Peter turned to King Jesus who rebukes the fever. And King Jesus rebukes the Satan who should not be an influence in our lives. He gives us the power to rebuke anything not of God in our lives. Rebuke simply means to express sharp disapproval to something or someone because of their behavior. It is not a religious word. It means reprimand, admonish, or scold. King Jesus Christ, our Lord, has the power and authority to rebuke Satan and all his representatives in high places, spiritually and humanly. He has given us the power to do the same, to rebuke our enemies. Because of Peter's relationship in serving God, his mother-in-law was brought into serving him through her healing. Your relationship in serving God can bring other family members to serve him as well through just one touch from Christ. Rebuke and give strong disapproval for that thing and those people in your life that's causing you not to serve your creator. Because serving God is far better than serving man. Much better.